Welcome to my top three dark horses at BCT Lock-In. These are teams that I don't necessarily think will win the tournament, but teams that I think have small chances of making it out of their groups and even getting some like upset wins and whatnot. But yeah, let's get right into it. All right, and our first team here is going to be EG. And I think for all the talk about the team's offseason, about the 10-man roster, all that kind of stuff, I still think this roster has some cracked players, with BCJ um, being really, really good, having some experience at being to multiple lands on Exit, um, Ethan having been to multiple lands uh, with 100 Thieves and Valorant, and then just many lands in CS. Um, I'm not sure about the other players' land experience, but Jojimo is an absolutely cracked player, with whether it be his flex play or his duelist play. I think he'll end up playing flex in this team, while Bustio, who's another really nice player, um, can play like the duelist, like the jet and whatnot. My only concern with this team is Calm and also Bustio's IGLing. I think uh, it just hasn't been proven on LAN. This team wasn't amazing in NA. Obviously, they had some peaks, but I think overall, if this team can... Let's go back to their bracket, because I forgot what I said. Um, they have a very, very winnable game against Heretics, I think. As long as they don't get, like, ran over by aggression, they can win that game. Uh, they should be the favorite against the MIBR and Talon. And if we can get the BCJ versus Stax narrative, uh, in this game here, with against DRX, I think that game is winnable for them. Or, not winnable, but it's... If they get the upset there, they can make it out of their group. And I, I don't think team, like, people are really considering that they can get the upset in one game. I think they have a really, really good shot against Cloud9, especially because they're regional rivals. And then Paper Rex, I think they would probably get run over by. But I think they definitely have a chance against DRX and Cloud9, especially with DRX having a new player in here. So yeah, first team is EG. Right, second up here, we have Giants, a team that is getting... Heavily, heavily, heavily underrated. Um, I think they're more in like the tier with like vitality and whatnot, like around that area. And people are really just discussing them as like a mid tier, like almost like a team that could get upset against Detonation, which I just don't agree with. I think this match is pretty much a free win for them. Uh, this roster isn't that bad, but from Detonation. But I think they have a real shot against Koi or NRG, especially with NRG incorporating two new players. Koi having an entirely new team. But, like, this team uh, is extremely skilled. They have, like, three really, really great players in Rhyme, Cloud, and Hoodie. And then with a world-class player, like, playing support in Nookie. Uh, I can't say I'm too familiar with, what's his name? Fatinho, I think is how you pronounce that. Um, I've heard his name before. That means he's probably okay, but he's playing duelist for them, so he'll get set up in a good way by these players. Like, he's surrounded by a good system here. Uh, their coach is pretty good. Uh, he's had a lot of experience on Giants and on G2, so that's probably a good sign. Um, and I think they have a shot against both Koi and NRG. I don't know if they'll beat Loud and one of those two teams, but I think they can definitely get one upset against one of them and even definitely have a shot against the next one. And finally here, we have Furia, um, a team that I don't really think will win the tournament. But coming up against T1 in the first round, they should have a pretty easy time beating that team. Um, and then at Champs, they gave Fnatic a real like good run for their money. Uh, I think they can do that again and possibly even beat them this time. I'm not I wouldn't predict that to happen. I would predict Fnatic, but it's possible for Fury to beat them. Especially with this uh, the Brazilian home crowd and Fnatic's like uh history of like choking on land. And it's not like the players that they both got, like the new players have don't have a history of that. Like Chronicle has a history of just choke like on Gambit, that team had a history of just choking games in general. So I don't think Fnatic is prone to choking on land, but even if Furia beats them, 
I don't see them getting past 100 Thieves, but that would be a really, really fun game to watch, especially if they're there with the Brazilian crowd and everything. And so yeah, those are my top three Dark Horse teams for ECT lock-in. Uh, let me know what you guys thought in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.